Hey, Holly here, Psychic Medium. Thank you for tuning in to this channel and watching and hopefully subscribing and liking, but if not, that's okay too. You do what you feel is the right thing for you to do. Um, this is going to be a general reading. Um, I use Oracle and Tarot cards just as a jumping off point, but I am not uh, traditionally a card reader. I am an energy reader, and um, so if I get quiet and just ask for Spirit's help to tune in, I'm giving messages from them, or they spark me to say, remember this, we'll talk about that, and then I kind of know what they want me to do. So I uh, hope that uh, makes sense. Um, as a general reading, this will not resonate for everyone or with everyone, but if you can take any of the information, great. It is always for the best and the highest good, but you always have free will. Please do not try to make the information fit. And um, let's get started. Okay. Remember, you are the pilot of your plane, captain of your ship. Do what you want. You have free will. That's the beauty of being in this lifetime. You have free will. All right. So, um, yeah, and I'm hearing we can't always immediately do... Sometimes if our physical limitations uh, keep us restricted, no one gets to control our thoughts. Okay, so that's important. And this is one of my favorite mics. I've had this forever. Let your light shine. I just, I love it. Let your light shine. Um, is that backwards? It might be, I might have, to, I'm sorry. I just got right up there in the camera. Um, so, um, yeah, I may have to check the setting and make sure things aren't being reversed again. I don't know. Well, anyway, but it says, let your light shine. So, please do. Uh, we all have an incredible amount of light within us. Um, okay, so they do want me to talk about this. So, this morning, I have uh, been feeling and sensing and become aware of um, some uncomfortable energies in the atmosphere and there are um i'm sorry i put on a ton of lip goo just because i was feeling so dry now i feel like it's spread across my face anyway sorry about that um little squirrel digression there um so let your light shine brightly do not worry about what other people are thinking don't worry about if anyone is jealous of your endeavors um, if you are getting fit and healthy, if you are uh, starting a new business, if you are starting a new class, if you are doing anything that you absolutely love, it's not taking away from anyone else. So you do what makes you shine brighter, okay? You can't please everyone at all. All right. Um, and speaking of there's enough to go around, I still have not gotten to my resources video for uh, practitioners I know that do remote or distant or distance work, however you want to phrase that, um, for Reiki, healing energy, some shamanic work, um, psychic medium work, because I'm not really doing private readings and anything I do right now would be in person anyway. Um, just my choice for right now. Um, and also, oh, and they want me to talk about blending the two halves of ourselves to make a whole. So, um, but let me let me finish the other, thank you. Let me finish the other thought first. So I am going to get that video out hopefully soon, hopefully this weekend. I know I've said that for a couple of weeks now, but I really am trying. And I think I know why the delay. There's one person I still need to ask permission to use them in the video. And I haven't reached out to that person yet. One of them is a friend of mine who is an incredibly gifted psychic medium, and um, she made this necklace. She has an Etsy store, and she also is wonderful with um, her, I don't know, um, creative endeavors as well. So uh, she will be on there too. So, um, and there's a story behind this one and another piece that she made for me. So anyway, all happy stuff. So I will get that out as soon as I can. Um, now, going on to the blending of the two halves of the self. Um, this morning, it's become very blatantly clear to me, just in my own body. And so I ask the collective, is just 
this just for me or is it for everybody? And they're saying a lot of people are experiencing this, okay? Um, the, most people just physiologically have a slight variation between the right half and the left half. It's almost like if you drew a line down the center of us, we don't always completely match up, you know? Like I have a lazy eye here that's having, I'm having like optical uh, weird stuff going on there uh, that's new. And this side, I'm fine. Um, just, just weird oddities, you know, from the right side to the left side. And so, and they seem to be ramping up. And so I asked Spirit this morning, what's going on? What do I do? And basically what I heard, and this is also for the collective, because I think I'm kind of the poster person for what's going on <laughs> energetically the, with the messages that I need to get out there, or not that I need to get out, the Spirit needs to get out, and they're using me as the mouthpiece. Um, which I'm good with that. I just consider it a different form of being a translator, you know. Um, so blending the two halves of ourselves, blending and coming into union and unison with ourselves. Those of you who are going through this will get it. It's like if something goes wrong physiologically, it's always on one side of your body instead of the other side. And I've, I'm asking, I'm going to ask right now, please ask, I'm asking for clarification from spirit as to why this happens. What is the message and what can we do about it as a collective for all of those, those of us who are dealing with our two halves and they're saying the yin and the yang. So the masculine, the feminine, the, the right side, the left side, any of these things, there's an imbalance, an imbalance of the mind, body, spirit, and the two halves of ourselves and how we come together to make a whole. This does not have anything to do with gender or identity or any of those things. It's just simply merging who we are to be a complete, a complete being. Okay, so spirit guides and guardians, mother, father, God, protectorate, come in now. Shield us from any wayward energies, insecurities, negativity from other people so that we can do the work we need to do. What is the message for the collective regarding coming into unison with ourselves and, and creating a wholeness and a completeness? Don't be afraid of who you are. Oh, wow, that's a big message. Don't be afraid of who you are. Don't be afraid of the strength and the power you have within. Don't be afraid to manifest what you truly want. Don't dim who you are for fear of offending anyone else. You are who you are for a reason, and you came into this incarnation for a reason. So do not shortchange or slight yourself and in the process others by not radiating as much light as you can and being the beautiful, beautiful being that you are. Okay. Okay. That was said with love, but with force and power because they really want us to hear it. Okay. <laughs> and I, I always love when they have humor. And at the very end of that, what I didn't say that I heard was, does that work? Is that enough for you? I'm like, oh my God, loud and clear. Got it. Thank you. Okay. They are ready for us to be a force. A force to deal with any infirmity in the body at this point that is inexplicable or new um, always go to the doctor and get checked out I have and I'm gonna go double check make sure the pressure on my eye is okay but even that's healing you know uh, I think I just got way stressed out um, the other day and um, so what I'm what I'm what they're telling me is that, and again, I feel like I'm yelling. I hope I'm not. Anyway, um, the infirmities that are not like massive, not like um, potentially fatal or you need surgery or you need to get, you know, medication or something like that. Just the, the weird little quirky things that it's like, well, this is new. Uh, this is a random ache I didn't have before. Um, and there's nothing wrong. 
uh, and always get checked out. You know I'm going to harp on this. Always get yourself checked out um, because then that gives you peace of mind to know, okay, it's not that, so it's got to be something in the woo-woo world. That's, that's my code for woo-woo world. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, what we are experiencing when we have those little weird, quirky aches, pains, and pops, it's an imbalance. And it's a rejection of wanting to step into our power. This is a big message, you all. This is a really big message. If this doesn't sit with you right now, come back to it later. Put it on the back burner. Okay, I always say that. You, a, a stove has multiple burners for a reason. Put this one on the back on simmer. Keep it brewing in the back of your head and come back to it uh, at some point. Because I think this is going to resonate with a whole lot of people. Okay. Yeah. All right. That that energy is pulling back from that message now. All right. Uh, they're saying, no, not that one. Uh, yeah, my little mini here. Okay, I'm going to pull a card really quickly. After I have a drink out of my Let Your Light Shine mug. And y'all, I got this at the grocery store. I, I routinely check out the mugs at my local grocery store because I always find something fun. Lately, it hasn't been as productive, but you know. Hmm. All right. Now, this is uh, the uh, Thelema Tarot and a little mini deck. So you can see it's a little small deck, which I love. Okay, so what is the message for the collective? And this is, I still, I, the energy pulled back, but I still have that energy of let your light shine. Let that be your mantra today. Oh, I just said what was on the mug. Um, let you, oh, okay, that's why I picked that one. I didn't even know. Um, so... Okay, so what are we, what is the message for the, all right, leave those two out, good, okay. Uh, when I was trying to p pick up the cards, two just refused to come with the deck, so, all right, let me go, that one just fell. Well, I don't know, maybe not. They're saying look at it, I did, and I'm like, okay. So we got three here, we need maybe one or two more. All right, what is the message? What is the, thank you. What is the message? Woo, got a lot of stuff going on here. This one flipped over, thank you. Oh, that's a great way to wrap that up. Um, okay, anything else? No. All right, so here's what I've got. Hold on. Time for these. Okay. Uh, Ten of Wands. And I'm just going to show you this really quickly. It starts with the Ten of Wands, and we go to the Ace of Wands. Now, I'm not looking at it in terms of going backwards by number or anything like that, but the Ten of Wands, look at this guy. There's bright sunlight in the background, but he's carrying the burden on his back while still trying to work. Got a huge burden on his back. So that's the beginning of the reading. We end up with the Ace of Wands, and Aces always feel positive to me, always. And this one is the light of fiery wisdom um, and action coming in. So a new path, new action, and you're gonna you're gonna let that light shine and be on fire in a good way. Okay, so that's where it's going. So this is that's why they said that's a good way to wrap it up. But now in between, here's what we've got. Start out with the ten of wands carrying the burden on your back alone. Moving to the six of swords. Okay, now six of swords and in the boat, and it looks like the person is, it looks like a ghost figure that's rowing. It's almost like a ghost figure in the background that could be a mountain, but this person is alone with their burden and their worries, but it's all mental worries, you know, the what ifs, the what ifs. Y'all, what if, what if may never happen? So they're rowing it, it, this feels like they're rowing aimlessly. They're not going toward or away from anything. It feels like they're just sitting there ruminating in their own heads, okay? So the next one is, if I can pick it up, the Empress. That is a beautiful card. 
and she has this orb. She has the world, the, the bubble of light in her, in her palms, in her, in her hand and on her lap. She carries the ability, um, cat hair, excuse me, the ability to create whatever she wants. So the next one, we'll come back to that. The next one, the nine of swords. And this person is just, again, in their head, fretting, unable to sleep, head in the hand, crying. Then we move to the page of swords. And there are a lot of birds in the background. The page is like, screw this, Psh, not my issue. And as someone in the comments wrote, not my, not my monkeys, not my zoo. I've always heard, uh, not my monkeys, not, or not my, not my clowns, not my circus, that kind of thing. So whichever version of it, it's a, it's a brilliant phrase. And yes, sometimes we do have to be our brother's keeper. Sometimes we do have to lend a helping hand. But you know what? That phrase to me is a reminder that people who are addicted to drama will want to drag you right down into the depths of it with them because they don't want to go anywhere alone because then there's no drama to inflict on others. So yeah, it's not your circus. It's not your monkeys. Okay. Actually, that was the phrase. I think I reversed it a minute ago, man. I have been reversing things all morning. Um, okay. So anyway, so what I'm getting from this, this is part of a shift. This is part of uh, an awareness of self, and this is coming out of, it doesn't matter what other people do or say. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks. And what I'm hearing is stop living in the reflection of what other people think you are. I need to say that again. Stop living and being the, re and taking into yourself the reflection of you that other people hold about you, okay? That's based on their insecurities and their lack and their needs and their jealousy and their whatever, 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 okay? So, yes, you've been carrying a burden on your back for way too long. You feel like you're going in circles, caught up in your head, restless, unable to make a decision because you don't know what decision to make because you don't want to let anybody down. But this is who you are. You're the empress, male or female, it doesn't matter. You are the empress. You have this nurturing part of yourself and that's what's a, a gift, a blessing and wonderful about you. But in this instance, it's also what is holding you back because you're so worried about other people that you're not worried enough about yourself. When you realize that's who you are and when you start manifesting wonderful, good, true gifts of the light for you, then that has a domino effect and a ripple effect and other people feel that and also inherit that feeling. And that word inherit is, is big. Someone, uh, a little pocket of people on the side here may be worried about something with a child or children and inheritance or what to do, or conversely dealing with an aging parent and not sure what to do. Um, you may not like hearing this, but if you're dealing with either issue, particularly the aging parent and what to do with them because they're starting to lose their faculties, you may need to get legal help uh, to sort through it without losing everything. I feel like someone here has a lot to lose. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. But, um, and I'm sorry, but yeah, that's what I'm hearing. You may need some, some legal help or legal advice. Um, and ask spirit to direct you to the right person to help you in the legal field, okay? It's just like anything. Um, any field has incredible people in it and it also has some pretty dismal people. So you, you just, you know, trust your gut, trust your judgment, ask for spirit to point you in the right direction. All right, so you finally remembered, hey, wait a minute. Why am I basing my life and my thoughts about myself on what other people think or say about me? Look at their lives. Yeah, hear that again. Um, 
So then all of a sudden, you're just at the beginning. You're that page. You're like, you know what? I know who I am. I'm going to go in whatever direction I know is the right one to go in. There you go. I feel like someone's going to start a new project. I feel like there's someone who does something with pottery. That's coming up because I'm seeing clay and like a spinning, that spinning wheel that you... <laughs> That, you know, that spinny thing where you make pots on. Uh, I'm not, clearly not a potter. I love pottery, but I'm, yeah. Um, someone's thinking about doing that. It would be a great creative outlet. So if you have this drive and passion and you want to learn more about it, look into it because I think that would be a good outlet for you. Um, again, you have free will. This isn't going to be for everyone, but there's someone who is really thinking about it. And I think it would turn into such a passion that you would end up creating artwork to sell at art fairs and eventually galleries and things like that. So there is the potential there because you see it in your head. Um, you just need to trust that you have the ability to do it. Someone fed you when you were young really negative messages um, about your self-worth and your abilities. Not true. All right. Uh, and then it ends, again, like I've shown before, the Ace of Wands. So you finally remember who you are. We all need to remember who we are and take action. Just say, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because if you're not hurting anyone else, if you're taking care of all your responsibilities, if you are not a burden on anyone else, and you just want to take that pottery class, well, good for you. Do it. You never know where it could lead you. Cheers. All right, anything else? Yes. One more message. Oh, and this is the Unfolding Path Tarot by Athene Nakatura. All right, beautiful cards. All right. And what is the message? I feel like this has to do with uh, personal relationships. The last one had to do with the self. Everything had to do with internal work up till now. This one I feel like has to do with relationships. They said, take a look. This is the Nine of Pentacles. Something's coming into uh, full fruition. Something that's been building and brewing. It's coming into fruition. And um, this guy's looking dapper, man. He's got, the, he's got the suit and the cane and the hat. And I like that vest. He's looking good. And look at that peacock in the back. There's, a, I know, I do this a lot. Uh, don't mean to make y'all dizzy. Um, there's a white peacock in the back. Uh, peacocks are very often associated with like the eye on the feathers with psychic work or just a knowing. And um, I feel like this is someone, this is someone coming in or may be in your life, but is ready to say, no, I, uh, yeah, this is someone who's like, I am going to come in and put my best foot forward because they have a knowing. They have a knowing of what they want. Again, could be male or female, doesn't matter. <laughs> You're gonna be pursued. All right, and that's good. I think that's good. Again, if you gotta chase after someone, mm, that's, that's just not positive. Uh, it speaks of dysfunction. All right, they, they said to take the two off the top. Oh, sweet. Just out of curiosity. Okay. Yeah, they said take it. All right. All right. And the one on the bottom. Interesting. Oh, my word. Okay. Interesting. I told you I'm not a card reader and, and sometimes I shuffle one way. Sometimes I just listen and they're like, do this, do this, do this, do this. This is what we want. I'm like, okay. I am just a servant of spirit and all positive good spirits. Not uh, when I say spirit, I mean spirit with a capital S, which means guides, guardians, um, protectorate, 
uh, Mother, Father, God. Um, I, I don't want to work with any kind of sketchy energy because that's not real. The messages aren't real. All right. Yay. This all looks really positive. I'll just say that right up front really fast because I know we're starting to run a little low on time. Okay. The Empress is coming up again. Empress. The fool. Oh, how sweet. Pretty little child with butterflies all around her head. Okay. Flowers. Lovely. And then the tower. A lot of people think the tower is a bad thing because uh, it means shakeups or change. The tower in this instance, especially coming right after the fool. All right, spirit, help me out here. Man, you all are just empresses today. Again, male, female, it doesn't matter intense manifesting fertile just you know who you are and someone better live up to you um so stop questioning yourself that's what i heard S stop questioning your worthiness stop questioning just stop questioning you've got it you're good the fool and the tower it's been time long overdue for a little bit of a shakeup. okay and you are getting ready to take and embark on this new journey with the joy of a child, with the wonderment that a child sees things, but from the groundedness of an empress. And the tower is just, you know, you're knocking the rubble out of the way. All those bags and baggages you've been carry, carrying, the lids are flipped, you're cleaning it out, you're tossing, literally tossing it away, you're saying the memories remain, I'll put that little luggage right over there so I, I'll see it and remember it, but I don't need it. Because you're clearing the rubble away, because you are walking in with full power, full wisdom, and you are getting ready to embark on a wonderful journey of discovery. And it really truly is discovery. You know, I was feeling very vulnerable yesterday, and they're reminding me of that, that I use that word vulnerable because I get mad at myself when I feel vulnerable. I know, that's weird and dysfunctional, whatever. Um, then I just allowed me to, you know, I allowed myself the feeling. And so what they're saying is, it's okay. So if you are feeling vulnerable about anything in your life, it's okay. It means that you are, and... The response I got was correct. It means you were being open. Thank you, Spirit, for reminding me of that. That's sweet. I like it. All right. Um, bottom row that was on the bottom of the deck. The night. <laughs> this is a knight that is, uh, he's got his sword, but he's also got on a, a cute little outfit and he is ready to go he looks like the cover of a romance novel like those old fabio ones you know um those of you who are old enough will remember that um <laughs> with the shirtless you know <laughs> it just makes me laugh every time i think of it um i i kind of prefer this you know the the tie all kind of a i keep hearing swashbuckling okay so anyway but um this is someone who's ready for playful, to be playful intellectually and with banter, but also being caught up in the whirlwind of just throw caution to the wind, you know, because you're safe. And this kind of confirms it. The next, the next three card or four cards confirm it. Now we have the Ace of Swords. Okay. And again, positive card. You're going to get the downloads. You're going to know. You're just, you're going to know cognitively uh, that it is a good situation and it's okay to just get caught up in the whirlwind, okay? Because we then have the Page of Cups and these little koi fish. Koi fish mean um, growth and abundance in my mind. Um, but it's an old guy, man. I'm old. This guy's older than me. And so, and he's a page. But again, it goes back to, I think, this, this fool card of seeing your emotions, no matter how old you are, with a certain joy and zest 
for living and life and and you're never too old to drink from that cup to drink from that cup of of emotion and fulfillment okay that's a lovely that's a lovely card and then we have number four which is the four of wands and that's a celebration it's time to celebrate it's time to feel good it is really time to celebrate okay and then we have in the end judgment now this one sometimes judgment can mean you know the karma delivery service so to speak but this time with this card this is spirit has your back what i fully hear and get and understand is spirit is watching directing and has your back spirit will not let you down lean into spirit lean into your higher power lean into your higher self those eyes are the eyes of looking through the lens of spirit and your higher self um don't doubt what you know okay now that's not going to be for everyone but it will be for a good chunk of you and there again this came up i think yesterday or the day before there will be people who don't always have your best intentions at heart because they're not happy in their own lives you know um they have the opportunity and they have the ability to change that so you know, maybe this is, you are going to fall in love with who you are and remember who you are and fall in love with yourself. Fall in love with your life. That could be the alternate way of reading that. But this feels like an equal balanced situation, not uh, like um, the love of a child, which is all encompassing and wonderful, but also there's a lot of worry that goes on with that because you're always worried about them or wanting to um, be a caretaker 100%. Your child can't take care of you. You are a caretaker 100%. Um, this, this reading felt more like um, mutually giving and receiving. And that could be even within your own life or your relationship with spirit or with someone else. Okay. All right. We are running a little long. So we're going to, I'm going <laughs> to I always say we because I, I, ne I never feel alone. I always know there's spirit around. So um, thank you so much for being here today. And if you got to the end of it, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And um, let your lights shine brightly. Do something fun for yourself today. Don't forget to, to sing. Use your voice. Uh, this is a message. It feels like it's important to also use your voice. Work on that throat chakra. Okay, you are using your voice. Use your voice. And I'm seeing the color blue, like robin's egg blue. Talk to yourself. Give yourself the messages you missed for so many years and tell yourself that you love yourself. Thank you. I love you. Be well. We'll see you later.